Okay, so it's open. What we're trying to do now is install it with the low profile, and we should be able to just install the card. Oh no. So guys, welcome back to iFix Tech. Today we have this desktop HP Elite Desk. And what we're gonna be doing is doing some updates. Normally this computer comes with a 128 megabytes of graphic card. It's an Intel graphic card. This is the one that is included with the logic board. And yeah, for normal use, that, that'll be fine. But this desktop is used to display videos on, I would say about five different monitors. And sometimes you might see some lagging, even though you have a good amount of storage also run. But this graphic card is not really good. So what we're gonna be doing now is updating it for this geforce it's an nvidia geforce rtx 3050 and i believe this one is six gig so include is 128 but now we're gonna be updating so to six gigs and we're gonna be seeing how it runs after that but before let's install it here is the graphic card um yeah it's pci express geforce and it comes this one comes with a low profile which is the one that we're going to be using on this computer uh, so it can fit well on the case so let's install it and after that let's do some testing okay first thing first let's open this one up remove the thumb screw you just need to pull the cover here's the hp hp elite desk Here's the processor. Here's where we're gonna install that uh, graphic card, as you already know. Okay, so it's open. What we're trying to do now is install this uh, low profile bracket. For this, you need to remove one, two screws. There are um, Phillips screws, but for that, in order to reach this one, we need to remove this cover uh, from, from your GPU or from the graphic card. For that, you need to remove these four screws that are on the side. Let's do that right now. Number two, number three. Okay, so the new bracket is already installed, the low profile one. So remember, there is one screw here. Also, I almost forgot about this one. Two, three, four, five, and then the two big ones, which will be uh, this one and this one hiding here. Okay, in this HP, for the PCI Express one, which should be the black one, you're gonna remove the full, the first uh, cover. And then before we continue, if you find any value in this video, go ahead, subscribe, join. We're doing a lot of video for our community. Don't forget to leave your like. This will really help us to get to more people. Share to anybody that you think that have to see this video. Also, if my video helped you and you would like to show your appreciation, you can send a super thanks via YouTube. This helps us continue making more videos, which will be able to just install the card. Oh no. Also to make space, we are gonna need to leave this. For that, I think we also need to remove this front bezel. So let's do it. I know, I know it won't, it was not gonna be that easy. So yep, this is how you lift this uh, metal bracket, and then you should be able to just install your card. here okay now much better just make sure it's all the way down like flush with the rest of the of the metals or the rest of the brackets also make sure that back is all the way down and then just close it with the lock let's close this metal bracket and install the bezel or that let's do it the way it was now we have a new graphic card and this one has HDMI and also display cable. Something I like to do, to do before installing all the covers and stuff, just connect the plug, connect the power cable and turn it on. That way you make sure that the car is working. Let's try that again, one more time. Let's press the power button. Yep, car is working. 
you found for the CPU is working now connect everything and let's see again on this one uh, we have like five different monitors so that's why you see we have different HDMI that go uh, to this converter here um, then those two cable connect to the graphic card connect the display cable to try and we have video but they triggered a bit longer I don't know why it normally happens when you do the hard drive or the motherboard not a graphic card but uh, figure this out and then do the final test okay new graphic card already installed um right now it is displaying as you can see here it is a gpu that we just installed this is a one on the motherboard and it is displaying on those monitors one two three four five six different monitors here is one and the rest are on the back we we can now see from here but as you can see um it's barely it's barely working so here we can see the uh, authorization on it is only one two percent uh, from the six gig that this car has um, it, it only using 0 0.7 0 0.8 GPU memory which is uh, 21 something uh, gigabytes or maybe I believe it should be 22 maybe um, but it's only using 0 0.5 and uh, the temperature of it is, is really good um, yeah, everything is, is so nice. Before, this was lagging a lot. Uh, remember, if you have a computer and you display videos or maybe gaming, remember it takes a lot from from that GPU. So it's always a good idea to have an extra graphic card. You don't need to have an expensive one, but you you only need to have uh, the one that you need. Depend what are your needs. And this NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050. It's really perfect for the work that is being done on this computer. I've been testing this for hours now and it's not lagging, no lagging at all like before. And because it went so well, I'm doing the same on the second computer on the same place. So yeah, this worked really good. In case you interested in this one, I will leave the link down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Before we continue, if you find any value in this video, go ahead, subscribe, join. We're doing a lot of videos for our community. Don't forget to leave your like. This will really help us to get to more people. Share to anybody that you think that have to see this video. Also, if my video helped you and you would like to show your appreciation, you can send a super thanks via YouTube. This helps us continue making more videos.